Hey, it's Corey back here from Misfits uh, ATV Garage, and we're going to do the service on the desk mount and the transmission of this bike. Um, just simple maintenance stuff, you've got to do it. Well, you don't have to do it, but I recommend doing it. And basically we might throw this on a point of view mount, or we might do a time lapse. We're not sure yet, but stick with us. Thanks. Okay, we're going. Yeah, just give it a little love tap with a plastic hammer. I like to take the vent out first, gives you an idea whether your differential is full of water or not. <laughs> Let's hope for no water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing, we're good. And now uh, we got to make sure that this o-ring here, you want to make sure that it comes out on the drain plug and that it doesn't get stuck in the housing. And an extension on. Back in here. And we're good. Now, you could do this. There's two ways to do this. We've opted for option not maybe the right way, <laughs> for lack of better terms. But what we could do is there's a skid plate on the bottom. We could drop the skid plate and the oil will come straight out. But uh, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to let her buck and see what happens. So once again, we're not, we're not professionals. And again, you want to make sure that your O-ring comes out with your drain plug. Let's hope for no water. When I did this on my high lifter. Water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> but it lives its life in the water and the mud it was expected. And there we go. Water. Water. <laughs> yeah, I was in the pond too. Yep. That is water. That's worse than the high lifter. Yep. You got a little bit of build up on the magnet. Any shavings? No, no shavings, just fine stuff. So it's uh it was definitely due. And how I said that we weren't going to drop the skip plate, I knew we were going to drop the skip plate. Because <laughs> it needs it. Oh man, that's terrible. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Look at that. Uh, we might be in a bit of a predicament here, bud. Well, I'm not sure that we can even. We can't even drop the skid plate. Nope. Just let it drip. Yep. We got the we got the jack blocking the skid plate. Oh, she's coming out. Yeah, it's all it's still that running. That is milky. That is, yeah, it's kinda it went in the pond. Yeah. <laughs> is what it did. Absolutely it did. And I know if you're where is the breather hoses on these. You see them? Is there deck? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, so, Something and I know I've been deeper than that. Yeah. See that up there, guys? Right here. So this is the breather hose that goes in the top of the casing. That might get an extension in a video or two. <laughs> yeah, we might have to relocate that <laughs> to a more upward position. Because I like water wheelies. <laughs> yeah. And we happen to have a pod here in the compound that we play in quite frequently, so. Yeah, that's, that's a tough break. Yep. That was definitely in need of service. I am not even going to fib you on this one, but this is ten times worse than the high lifter one. <laughs> Lesson, don't go in water deep. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll let that drain for a while. Yeah, we'll be right gonna... back with this fish garage. <laughs> all right, so we did the same thing we did with the differential. It's a little hard to do with, you need all the hands we got to uh, do it. But uh, we flush a little more ATF. <laughs> Just trying to get all that water out. We're definitely going to uh, be doing another flush before its uh, next service hours are up. <laughs> Just to maintain the longevity of the water pond. I mean, transfer case. <laughs> the water pond. <laughs> <laughs> the old water pump slash transfer case. <laughs> oh, man. That is something else. You don't see that every day. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Man, the high lifter wasn't even that bad when we did it. <laughs> Alright, so again, it's an O-ring base seal. You don't have to torque on it. There is no point in that. You're just going to flatten your O-ring, kick yourself in the teeth, 
You don't want to do that. Alright. So there's the old the AGL. Also again, the same as the uh same as the rear differential. And we're just gonna fill it up until it comes out the fill again. Maybe. Maybe. Oh there we go. I just had the hose in too far, I was blocking it. Now this should take the better part of a full liter. Or a quart, depending on which side of the border you reside on. Oh, you just fill it full of water again. Yeah, I mean, that's going to be in the next video. <laughs> Note to self, stay in the fucking pond. Oh, I just cursed. Demonetized! <laughs> oh, I did that. This is a little bit of a slow process, but... I can't believe that gray stuff come out from that purple oil we're putting in. That is something new. I tell you, we don't see that every day. <laughs> oh man. That was, that was a classic bad break right there. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. My Wait. ass all from another one. Yeah? Oh, uh. Why are we waiting? <laughs> yeah, that's what we Pretty close enough. I wonder how your transfer case is going to like this proper oil. Well, it might not be so clicky anymore. <laughs> the front and well not the front that's the rear differential and the transfer case slash water pump we've got that uh, looked after so we're just going to get ourselves set up and we'll get on to the front all right so now we've got the uh, rear differential and the transfer slash water pump finished we're going to move on to the front now you got to remember when you go to the front you're going to use a different fluid the front is a demand drive it's not the AGL, so they've got two different fluids from front to rear. So yeah, we're just going to get ourselves set up and get this puppy draining. This one is probably the best, because you've got your top, your fill is right here, and then your drain is actually located on the bottom of the differential. All right, let's see if we can get away with this one water free. We think we found the problem of why we filled the. Oh, that was a good one. We think we found the problem of why we filled the uh, rear differential and the transfer slash water pump. The uh, vent is <laughs> the air vent literally goes right behind the rear bumper, and this is water we lead through the pond a few times, so. It just acts as a scoop and scoop everything right up. Now see there. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> and it's full water too, by the looks of it. Looks that way. Yeah. Alright. So, we'll 
find that drain plug once we get this drain. Here comes the water. I already know it's coming. Yeah, and it's coming out on the top. Like it's thin yep. water. Although this oil is clear, it's not purple when it goes in. And the splurge. Yeah, she's got water. Actually, it's got horrible, but it's yeah, got water. Is... Any filings on that plug? No, none. Oh, she's good. Good thing was that was a full ride. <laughs> yeah. And again, these differentials don't hold much oil at all. Now, clean this off. We're gonna have to figure out where that other drain plug went. In behind that A arm. That front lower. It went in right down there somehow. Uh, you know what? I think I got. Got a magnet? Remember that old ring was just hanging on by a thread yeah. too. Yeah. Ha! Ah. Magic hands. And that's what we mean when we're saying watch that O ring, make sure it's there. That one was pretty close to coming off. We'll just roll that back down. Clean this up and Get rid of the water and top her up with some uh, good stuff. Yeah, the good stuff. Always the good stuff. And it doesn't take long. Another thing to remember is there's a magnet on your drain, and there is no magnet on your fill. It's an easy way to remember which one goes where, because other than that, they're both identical. Thread length, they're identical, other than the magnet. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. That's definitely not like the water pump. I mean, the transfer case. The <laughs> water puddle. I keep... I can't believe how much water comes out of that. <laughs> and it might not be shocking to you guys, but our windows are cold. We're like minus 20 <laughs> Celsius, not Fahrenheit. But, uh, like I'm, so, I'm shocked that you didn't split a casing or something. Like that's... Just goes to show you, Flaris has got some of the right stuff. Just <laughs> fill it full of water and freeze it all there. <laughs> Alrighty. And then, after our fancy little filling device, that in the hole. That's what she said. <laughs> well, I'm trying to do two things at once. And that should probably be pretty good there. Yeah. Not going yet too fast. Uh, we're gonna let that back flush a little bit. Yeah, it should be good there. Oh, are you coming out now? Or yeah, we got her coming out. I'm gonna let it back flush a little bit. Make sure we get all the good stuff in there. All right, and now it's. We know for sure that that is where that needs to be. We'll lock this down. And again, O-ring base, don't need to crank on it, can't stress it enough. The O-ring does the ceiling, not the, the flat surface on the plug. Again, don't have to take my word for it, I am not a professional. And we're good. All right. So there we go. Now we've got that situation all figured out. So now we're going to uh, we're going to go to a little bit of a time lapse here and blow the wheels back on it. And if you're lucky, you might just go for a rip. So uh, thanks for tuning in to uh, Misfits ATV and catch you on the trail. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, you imagine going on the trip on the trip up north there? <laughs> Get out on the trail and drop your case thing. Oh, oh man, that would have been a.
story for the ages. <laughs> Not grease step on your crop shaft. I tell you, they, they did it right on this, and they did it wrong on the high lift grease. Concludes us getting the service from top to bottom. We greased it. We uh, yeah, greased all the fittings. We uh, did the front and rear differential and the transfer case. So yeah, should be good to hit the trail. And if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, maybe we'll see you out on the trail. <laughs> <laughs>